Ah, uh, good afternoon. So I'm here with my wife's uh, Gamma Compact uh, target pistol, and uh, out of the box, the trigger was quite heavy. In fact, it was uh, around about two kilos, two thousand grams. So what I did, I took the actual grips off, uh, the cover off, and I lubricated all the seals and the moving parts uh, with some molybdenum disulfide, and I got it down to around about a kilo, about a thousand grams. So what I thought I'd do is change the actual sear spring, which obviously affects the actual weight of the release. So first of all you need to remove the actual grip, there's these two screws here. So you've got to unscrew them all the way. This one goes through the top and also engages in a clip on the uh, other side of the grip. It splits. Okay, this is the lower one, it goes straight into the wood. So when you do these up, just do them up hand tight, don't over tighten them. Okay, so you just lift them off like so. And uh, if we just zoom in a little bit, uh, you might be able to see that uh, you've got uh, so the lower half of the grip and also you've got a palm shelf. It's really so they can adjust the palm shelf from down for your own personal, uh, for personal hand. So what you've got, you've got some sear components in there, so I've lubricated that side, and also I just turn around, and this cover here, if I just zoom in a little bit more, that's it. So you've got a cover here, um, it's like a polycarbonate cover, and all your sear and, link, and links are below this. So you've got three screws, one at the top here, and you've got two here, so take them out, like so. And this is all I did to adjust the trigger once I'd actually lubricated it. So a kilo is still fairly heavy. So I just took it off, uh, lever the actual cover off like that. You've got two pins here, just make sure you don't pull them out when you lift it off. Like so, so that's off. So if I just bring her in a little bit more, you might be able to see that. So what you've got, yeah, you've got your trigger here. This is your, like your first stage. See where it engages with the top of the actual sear. And then as you pull the trigger, it rotates on this pin here. And this is the spring I changed. So the original spring was this one here, okay? So that hooks in the actual sear, and the other end goes over this pin. So what I did, I just wanted to reduce it by about, maybe roughly about half, you know, maybe just over half. So I bought these set springs off uh, Amazon. And I use the smallest one, and it uh, it measures at five millimeters diameter, overall diameter, and overall length of twenty point five millimeters. So what it was, it was this size spring here, okay. And what I did, I opened one of the loops and made uh, a stalk out of it, so it could go engage in the actual end of the sear. And the easiest way I found was just to put your finger on that spring there, on those two pins there. Get a pair of tweezers, just unhook it from the sear, and then unhook it from the back and take the spring out and then put it back in in the reverse way. So basically that is that. Now the actual um, trigger uh, pull uh, can be adjusted by this screw here. Now you can change that screw and make it longer, which will push the sear, which affects the disengage point. But by doing that, um, you've got to be a bit careful you don't overdo it because you can make the trigger like a hair trigger, okay? So I've sort of left it as it is, and uh, I'll do a knock test, which is, or a shock test, after I've, uh, I've reassembled it all. So what I also did, I put a little bit of gun oil on the springs, these two springs, and obviously I lubricated molybdenum disulfide on all the operating faces, okay? And all, this, all the pistons there. Also, I put a little bit of oil on the trigger pins here, okay? So, basically, that's all I did. Pop the cover back on. So engage the two pins at the top first, push it down nice and firmly. Now these screws, they go into a plastic body, so you have to over tighten them. They're all the same length, so it doesn't matter which one. Make sure you don't cross thread them, and just use two fingers, okay? If you over tighten them, you can strip the threads, and that's what you don't want to do. So same for these two here, put that in there, in there like so. Okay, top one like that. Okay, so yeah, just I just use two fingers on the three screws, so they're nice and firm, but not over tight. Okay, so then you can actually put the, the grip back on. So the two 
pin go through the holes here. So what you want to do is put that through the top, that through the bottom like so. Okay. Like so like that. Okay, now you can see that. Right, yeah. Uh, let's just zoom this back out again so you can have a better look at it. There we go. So yeah, so you put this in and the easy way I found was to line the other grip up and line up the bottom pin first because that goes into that bottom wood. Uh, getting that engaged first, yeah, makes it easier. Do that up a bit so it engages with the thread. Like so. And then do the upper one. Okay, so once you've done that, screw them up. Just finger tight. Quite a long screw that one. Okay, and then just again, a couple of fingers like that, and that's it. So that's it all assembled. Now, the good thing about obviously um, pneumatics and PCPs you can drive fire them. So we'll cock the pistol, notice, and you'll see the trigger now, and that's your first stage, and then it goes really crisply like that. Uh, and using this uh, trigger pull gauge, it's doing uh, one pound and six ounces, which equates to about 620 grams, which is perfect. Uh, also, it's definitely worth doing a, a knock test. Make sure it don't go off. Because you don't want it dry, you don't want it to hair triggering. Okay, so that will be just nice, just nice trigger. It's uh, just a nice, it's a little bit above the actual uh, a competition minimum weight of. Seven, uh, 500 grams, sorry, that's the competition weight. But the good thing about this now, it's really nice and crisp. Okay, so yeah, I hope you like that little video. My wife will find this much easier to shoot than the, uh, the two kilo pull. And I'll get her out and get her practicing more often now. So I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.